Yeah, so Ben Simmons and Maya Jama have broken off their engagement, and Ben wants that ring back. It was a million dollar ring that he put on her finger, and now that the engagement is broke, he sent legal papers saying, let me get that back. Some people asking, is he petty for doing this or not? I don't think he's petty because it's a million dollar ring, and that ring signifies a marriage. And since the, we are no longer together, I think that's something that you could give back. Now, if there's other gifts that you done gave through the relationship, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I gave you this for Christmas, gave you that for... Then I don't think you ask for that stuff back. You know what I'm saying? That stuff, once you give it, it's gone. Unless it's like um, a car or something that got a note attached to it, like a house. You bought her a house or a car, which I think some of this stuff is extravagant. Like a million dollars on a ring is extravagant. That's, that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. I need that back. But furthermore, why buy a million dollar ring though? You know, I mean, just being business minded, I don't, I, even though Ben is making a lot of money, he's making a lot of money. I don't think an accountant probably would have said, yeah, this is a good, this is a good purchase. You know what I'm saying? I think an accountant would have been like, eh, you can go cheaper. <laughs> And she ain't like your ride or die from like high school or something, your high school love, nothing like that. Like you you just met this chick, I think in 2021, they started going out as a, as a couple and you bought her a million dollar ring. Wikipedia says she's an English television radio presenter and a DJ. And it, I'm going to put a slash Instagram model on to that because I'm, I'm just saying, because you look at some of the pictures, I'm just saying. I just think a million dollars is a lot to jump out the window on and you kind of just met this chick. You know what I'm saying? Because we see we see how fast it can go wrong. I just did a video not too long ago about the chick that's demanding a $250,000 wedding from her boyfriend. And she's saying he broke if he don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Loudmouth chick talking all crazy. So if you buying a million dollar ring, what you setting yourself up to do for as far as the wedding? And what you setting yourself up to do as far as the divorce? <laughs> when it go left, they she gonna be killing your pockets. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Sometimes we be going a little over the above with these gifts and these weddings and these rings and all this stuff just for the show of it. But I think I think certain gifts that you give throughout the relationship is not to be petty about. If you gave her a little bit, a little piece of jewelry, a little necklace, this, that, and that, you know what I'm saying? Just little stuff, gifts, whatever gifts, you know. Da, 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 if the girl gave you the PlayStation for Christmas, something like that. Yeah, like stuff like that. I mean, once you give it, it's in the wind. Once you give it, it's in the wind. I, I, I'm not petty like that. I, I ain't asking for it back. But something like an engagement ring, I, I kind of would low-key, yeah, I would kind of expect. I don't care, really care how much it costs. I would just kind of low-key expect that if the relationship went sour, and I gave you an engagement ring. Why would you want to keep it? Like, yeah, run that back. Like, I don't know. You get that ring so I can pawn it and do whatever I'm going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? I just, it just, <clears throat> the ring signifying a marriage says something different than a Christmas gift little rinky dink necklace that you gave her or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I guess the 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 more expensive these things then I, you know your mind might change about it because I'm thinking I'm thinking in a certain tax bracket. <laughs> so, but I'm guessing if you like Diddy and you uh, you know buy your girlfriend a five hundred thousand dollar necklace or whatever, and then y'all go sour, maybe maybe you do be like, hey, let me get that. I don't think Diddy is the type of person that would do that. You know, he probably just let it be gone. But you know, I don't know. I don't know, but there's certain certain stuff like I I seen cars taken back or you know that type of stuff, yeah. Because if if you were leasing a car for your girlfriend or your fiance and the relationship goes sour, like I'm not going to continue to pay a bill on that car so you can keep it. You know what I'm saying? If I got you into an apartment or something or got the house, like, I'm not about to keep paying that bill so you can let other dudes come and smash you in the house that I'm paying for. Like that, <clears throat> we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? But something like an engagement ring, yeah, I, I think, I think as a woman, she should probably 
want to give it back. Even though that's a lot, of, that's a lot to add, you know, a million, that's you know, giving up a million dollars. But hey, <clears throat> you might have me, you got a blue check out of here. I'm going to get you some money. You know what I'm saying? Get to hustling that monkey like y'all do on Instagram. <laughs> and make you a couple of dollars. But get that ring back to Ben. Huh? I just, um, I wonder what the ladies think about this. Because I think a lot, I think some ladies will think that the deal is sealed. Once you gave it to me, it's mine. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. Tell us if, if, what, what you think about it. Would you expect the ring back? I think I think a lot of fellas probably would expect the ring back. Is it petty that a, that you would expect that back? I don't think it's petty for an engagement ring to expect that back. You know, it's just what you do when you signify, yeah, I can't, I can't marry it. You know, I can't do this with you. Or you know, I, I've turned down certain gifts from women because I know I didn't have good intentions by them. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want them to start <clears throat> to think those intentions were, were were solid. But that's just me. But I know a lot of women probably won't agree with this train of thought. Some men too. Because a lot of women will see a good guy, you know what I'm saying? And he got money. I just seen a video lately, like she was like, the chick was like, Don't date. If you're a nice guy and you're boring, don't date. Because chicks just going to be in your pockets. You know what I'm saying? They just going to use you and, and abuse you and, and suck you dry of as much money as they can get. So I know a lot of chicks won't really agree with this train of thought. But I know where they probably would agree is that when you flip it and you have a man lying to a woman about his intentions for a relationship and she gives herself to him. And he's just using and abusing, using and abusing, knowing his intentions is foul. Then I bet a woman would agree then, like, oh, I don't like being used. You know, see, that's something as a man I don't agree with either. I don't agree with lying to chicks about your intentions. I mean, if if it's just a one and done or this, that, and the other, tell her that and let that be that. But see, the problem, a lot of women don't listen when, when the dude do tell you that. But, you know, I don't agree with the lying and sneaking and and cheating out, you know, I'm telling the woman all this type of fake stuff. You know, be real about what it is and what you is, you know what I'm saying? But it's just something I thought would apply as far as the psyche of giving gifts back or this, that, and the other when it comes to making a decision on if Maya Jama should get that rock, one million dollar rock back to Ben Simmons. But hey, let me know what you think. It's your boy Pete Kemp.